So this is the MageDoc 16 inch OLED monitor. A 4K display that's rich in color. It's super thin, lightweight, and portable. It's a touchscreen monitor that has tablet light features. It comes with a stylus pen so you can get real close up and be creative. The touchscreen works for both PC and Mac. A great feature for productivity maybe. It has a display that will keep you glued whilst gaming. You can plug it into pretty much any device and use it as a primary or secondary screen. It has deep black so movies look incredible. A beautiful display packed with so much. Could this be one of the best portable monitors at the moment? So right off the bat this monitor costs a whopping $669 at the moment. And you're probably thinking to yourself why would I spend that much money on a small monitor? Well I've been using this monitor for a few weeks now and I can honestly say it has one of the best displays I've seen on a portable monitor. Thanks to its 4K resolution and OLED panel, the colours and details are amazing looking. The max resolution is 3840 by 2400 with a screen ratio of 16 by 10 and it has a 100% DCI-P3 colour gamut. By default the saturation was set to 60%. Things like the display icons and user interface looked amazing with the vibrant colours and high resolution detail, but with some videos it did look oversaturated with the reds and skin tones. So I managed to find a sweet spot at 40% in the display settings in order to have a good balance of saturation levels. Another big selling point for this monitor would be its touchscreen capabilities. Not only that, you can also use a stylus pen on it too, which does come included. At first I was a bit sceptical on how good can the stylus pen be on this monitor. But I was pleasantly surprised in its accuracy. The display responds well to the pressure applied using a stylus. It can support just over a thousand levels of pressure, meaning I could do light strokes to create these thin faint lines, almost like how it would be like on a piece of paper with a pencil. It also does a good job when you use a thick brush and change the level of pressure whilst drawing, because in one stroke you can go from light to heavy pressure to create a thin to thick line, which is pretty cool. However, can it replace a professional illustration display like a Wacom tablet that has over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity and cost a lot more money? Probably not, but for what this display is, I think it does a decent job. The touch capabilities do vary however, depending on the device or operating system. On a PC, you get full touch controls just like you would with a tablet. You can swipe from the sides, scroll, pinch, zoom and tap on things, whereas on the Mac it's limited. The stylus pen doesn't work. The screen will only respond to fingertip touches. You can tap on elements, drag them about, but that's about it. It acts more like a mouse cursor. You can't scroll a page or app like you would on a tablet. You would have to place your finger on the scroll bars to do so. Even with the limitations, the touchscreen works well. It is a shame you can't do the same gestures like you can on a PC, but what you can do can come in handy to use it for tasks such as tapping on elements and dragging things around. The colors are gorgeous on this display. Everything looks so bright and vivid. You get deep blacks when watching videos, films look stunning, the colors just pop. Games also look incredible. Certain games benefit from the vibrant colors, like GTA 5. As it's already a colorful game, the display just elevates it. Other games like Call of Duty's Warzone, however, look a bit too colorful and oversaturated. Luckily, there are different color profiles to choose from in a menu, like this one, which completely desaturates the colors and gives the game a more serious tone to it. The monitor has a 1 millisecond response time, but unfortunately it only has a 60Hz refresh rate. So playing fast paced games like Warzone won't be the greatest if you want to be competitive. But games that aren't too fast paced like GTA 5 and have colourful environments is beautiful to play on this monitor. When it comes to colour accuracy, the specs look good. According to the monitor's specification on MageDoc's website, it has a 100% DCI-P3 colour gamut. Delta E of less than 1 with a colour support of over 1 billion colours. I'm no colour expert and I don't have any fancy tools to really test its accuracy. I normally use a reference display to compare colours, like a mobile phone display, which is probably not the most accurate way to measure colour, but let's be honest, I'm not making movies here, as I'm only creating YouTube content. But when comparing it to my M1 Pro MacBook Pro 16 inch display, by default the touchscreen monitor has a warmer tone. Both displays are different. The MacBook Pro is a liquid retina XDR display and the touchscreen monitor is OLED. I did try to change the color profile on the touchscreen in the display menu and also in the Mac OS to match the MacBook Pro, but I couldn't shake off the warmer tone without affecting the other colors. When comparing it to my iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is an OLED display, the touchscreen comes closer to matching the colors. It's not 100% perfect, but it's close enough. When you compare all three displays, the touchscreen monitor does look a bit warmer. So if you are looking for a color accurate monitor for making movies, or maybe even photo editing, 
you would probably have to look elsewhere. But for most content creation stuff like YouTube videos, this would be fine. The monitor's enclosure is made of plastic and the kickstand is metal. It holds really well when you adjust the monitor for different angles. There are holes on the back for the visa mount and the speakers are there too. I do like its lightweight and slim design. The display feels good to touch and is solid. Don't bother trying to use it with light directly hitting the screen as you would get glare. In terms of ports, you have one for headphones, a USB-C connection that can transfer power, data, video and audio, and another USB-C port that can only transfer power. And then there's a HDMI connection and mini display port. The monitor can be connected to a multitude of devices, from different computers, games consoles, cameras, phones and tablets. Although some connections to certain devices don't work well, like on the iPad or iPhone, as you would only get a low resolution and stretched image. Overall, I would say this monitor is an excellent display to consume content on. Watching TV shows and movies will keep you mesmerized with its rich colors and deep blacks. Gaming on this 4K display is fantastic. There's something about gaming on this small display that makes it feel immersive. However, the color accuracy is a mixed bag because it would depend on the importance of your desired outcome for your content. For productivity, it can be extremely useful with the touch controls for your workflow and the stylus pen to zoom into those fine details. $669 is a steep price for a portable monitor, but it is packed with plenty of features. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'll leave a link to the monitor in the video description below. As always, thank you for watching.